Good morning, happy April, happy Monday, happy Q2. That's right, all of these things are happening on the same day. It's kind of like the ultimate fresh start, right? Q1 is done, we got through January, February, and March, and now spring as a season, as a concept is upon us, and I'm really, really excited. And I thought today would be the perfect day to share with you kind of like my ultimate reset day, okay? It is April 1st, like I said, so April Fool's Day. I'm not gonna be pulling any April Fool's on you, don't worry. I don't have anything on my calendar today or tomorrow, and it's a very freeing thing because it gives me the opportunity to do one of the things that's literally on my intentions list for the month, or for the quarter, I guess. There's no guessing, it's actually here. On my quarterly goals refresh, we have right here, feminine energy, lean into the feminine energy. And one of the things about feminine energy is that it really heavily relies on being in the flow. No timelines, no deadlines, none of this stuff, but just being able to generate and be in the flow, being a generator in human design and be wanting to lean into feminine energy are actually very highly linked together, in my opinion. Anyway, today is just going to be a day of being in that feminine energy flow, doing what I want, but getting things done. And I am so stinking excited to just kind of reset everything over the next day or two. And it's, I'm excited to bring you along with me because it's been a while since I've picked up the vlogging camera. So hello, welcome. I'm Brianna. If you guys are new, I'm the diva behind Diva and the Divine, and I'm so glad that you are here with me today. I've already sat down and listened to slash read one chapter of the Harry Potter book that I need to get through, oh, I don't know, 11 more chapters by Thursday because the Harry Potter book club that I run is meeting on Thursday and we are discussing chapters one through chapters 20 of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. That's a lot of reading. And of course, Master Procrastinator over here put it all off. So I am now going to start on chapter nine. So I have to sit down today and hopefully listen to maybe two or three more chapters. I've been listening to the audiobooks while looking through and following along with my illustrated versions of the Harry Potter books. This is like my, I don't know, fourth or fifth time through the Harry Potter books themselves. And I love them. I'm obsessed. If you're new to my channel, Harry Potter, common topic here on this channel because we love it. Oh, I'm obsessed with all of the little dogs. We have a couple little old dogs walking through this neighborhood. We have a golden retriever who has just the whitest face and I, like my heart, my heart every time I see this dog. And now there's apparently a really old Cocker Spaniel in our neighborhood too, totally distracted by the doggos. Anyway, what is going on today? The first thing I have to do is I need to take a deep dive into day one of my new Bible study, which is from the Well-Watered Women. It is Grace-Fueled Womanhood, and it is a study of Proverbs 31. I am so excited about this. This is my second Well-Watered Women study, and I really, really enjoyed the depth of the first one. I did Abundant, a study on the fruits of the Spirit for Lent, and really, really enjoyed it. This gets you like well-watered women gets you in the Bible, looking up verses, flipping through different books. It's it's pretty intense actually, but I love it. So I'm going to do that. And then I have a pretty brand new, I have a couple of them. And so this has just been sitting on the shelf. This is from Cultivate What Matters. This is their 12 week wellness journal. And I thought how appropriate for April 1st, start of a new month, start of a new quarter, and start of a Monday, start of a week, where wellness goal is the gold star for the focus of the quarter to start a new 12-week, three-month journal. So I'm going to be filling this in as well and getting this all set up. And that's how we're going to get started. Other aspirations I have today are to do some major cleaning things. I need to clean the bathrooms. I need to tidy up the lower level. I want to tidy up this office a little bit and just feel like everything is kind of reset and ready to go. We've got some laundry to do, things of that nature, just making sure everything feels good for the rest of the week when I get back into work mode on Wednesday. So welcome, I'm glad you're here. Come and have a Monday.
8.51 a.m. and I'm finally hungry enough to eat. I've got strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. I've got one cup, um, not a measured cup, like an individual cup of the Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt strawberry with fruit on the bottom. And then I've got a little bit of almond butter on here and then all brand buds, which are my current food obsession because they're so high in fiber. And I like these better than the fiber one cereal for two reasons. One, it doesn't have any artificial sweetener in it. And two, the pieces are a lot smaller so they can act more like a granola than the fiber one cereal does. So it's really easy to mix all of this into what I'm eating. I've also put it in oatmeal. Very, very good in oatmeal as well. And it just adds a whole lot of fiber in a small punch, which is amazing. So this is my, my yogurt bowl for breakfast. All right, got in a workout. My goal is to get over 10,000 steps today and I spent 45 minutes on the elliptical machine, well, just shy of 45 minutes. And I am at 7,000 now at 12.20 p.m. So I think paired with my desired cleaning stuff today, I think I'm gonna make it. All right, here is my lunch. I am so excited to dive in. This is a light English muffin on the bottom there. I've been loving using the light English muffins because they have eight grams of fiber in them. Eight grams, and y'all know I'm on a fiber kick right now. And then I have half of a mini avocado divided between these two halves here. And then one half is topped with smoked salmon, wild caught smoked salmon from Costco. And one is topped with a feta cheese egg. So I used, I actually used reduced fat feta cheese and one egg. And let's see. Oh, it's a, oh, pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good on the goopy yolk side of things. Topped with oregano and garlic and dill. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. is Gracie's flea and tick medication. She hates this thing, hates it. Don't go anywhere, you stay down here. We're gonna see if I can get her to take this without her noticing. Some months she notices, some months she doesn't. Let's see what April is. Do you want a treat? Oh, you want a treat? Come here. Come here. Oh, look, it's meat that doesn't have anything shady in it at all. No, can you sit? Down. Down. Up. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Gracie, bang, bang. Roll over. All right, here you go. Eat that, you earned it. Eat that, you earned it. That was a weird twist. Yes, victory, high five. Give me a high five. <laughs> or lick the meat off my fingers. That's fine too. <laughs> I just went to Target and it was freaking crazy town. I did a drive up order because I thought, you know, that'll be quick, that'll be easy. And evidently, because Target was closed yesterday for Easter, um, everybody and their brother decided to show up for drive up orders and there was not a single spot. And there are a lot of spots at my Target. It's a super Target. Not a single spot available for drive up. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll go park somewhere. I'll sit for a song or two, listen to my music, and then go look again. I did just that, and I ended up driving through and looking not a single spot in sight. So finally I said, you know what, forget it. And I parked my car and I went inside to customer service to pick up my order. It wasn't that big. I didn't think it would take that long. And it turns out that the three people in front of me in customer service all were doing the exact same thing I was doing, only they had like 15 grocery bags a piece. Mine was two. And the thing that I'm holding right now, um, two. 
And so I was standing there for like 15 minutes anyway. Absolutely crazy town. If I had known that it was going to be crazy town, I wouldn't have planned on doing this today. But I want to share with you my, my work smarter, not harder home hack that I'm doing today. I recently rediscovered one of my regular cleaning gripes is that I feel like I dust my dresser, specifically my dresser, but it's really all over, but specifically my dresser because it has a glass top on it. I feel like I can dust my dresser every single day and the dust would still reappear immediately, it feels like. And I would bust out like a cleaner, like a Windex or an all-purpose cleaner and a microfiber cloth, and I would dust and it would take energy and then the dust would just reappear. And so finally, after literally months and months and maybe even years of doing it the way I've been doing it and just letting the dust kind of pile up so I didn't have to dust more than once a week, it dawned on me, it dawned on me, um, that Swiffer exists for a reason. You know those little like handheld Swiffer things that you can just dust and just ch -ch 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 -ch, and it's all done? Yeah, I have one of those that's meant for use in like high places. We have like a Reacher Swiffer thing, um, but it never occurred to me to buy one with the small handle and just use it to dust all the surfaces in my house. So I've been doing that and lo and behold, dusting is faster, easier, and less time consuming and energy consuming. What do you know? So I decided to go to Target and pick up something that I have purchased once before. And then my husband convinced me we did not need it. This was like probably a year or two ago. And now I'm convinced I need it again. And it is this, the Swiffer Wet and Dry. It's the one with the little interchangeable cloths. Why do I want this? Why do I want to try this and see how it goes? Well, first, our kitchen floor is the cheapest, most inexpensive kitchen floor ever. We did not put it in. It was here when we moved here. We're contemplating replacing it. We're just trying to decide what we want to replace it. Well, we know what we're going to replace it with. Um, we're going to replace it with one of those like completely sealed and waterproof whatever floors. Um, but when and when we're willing to spend the money, because it'll probably be a five or six thousand dollar project. Okay. So we have this floor that has like the, the gaps in between. And if water or moisture gets into the gaps, it can cause the floor to swell, right? And you don't want that. You don't want that. And so the entirety of the time I've lived here, I have not once mopped my kitchen floor. Not once. Um, once I did, I in fact, get on the floor because I was so sick of it that I actually took a cloth and the spray bottle and manually washed the boards of the floor without letting any moisture get into the cracks. And I've only done that once and we've lived here for five years. So, and also we can't like, the vacuum gets so much, but with the sunlight coming in the way it does, I notice how much dust is. Can I help you with something? What? What do you want? What? Come here. Oh, that's run away. Come here. Little psychopath. Anyway. Anyway. I've never gotten to, I've seen that there's been so much dust gathering too, even after I vacuum. It's like the little particles that I, the vacuum cleaner can't get, right? And so it dawned on me that this thing exists. This thing exists and it's a cloth, a dry cloth that you can sweep with. And then it's a wet cloth that I might actually be able to mop with in between my big mops. I, I use like the, the big bucket with the spinner and the whatever to mop the, especially the laundry room floor. Would you really? Um, especially the laundry room floor because that's where Gracie, uh, Gracie's potty pad is. And you know, you know how little dogs are and their ability to, um, actually make it on the potty pad 100% of the time. That doesn't happen most of the time. Um, she does She does pretty good, but there are a lot of times that she also doesn't do pretty good. So I should mop that floor a lot more often than I do. And like, if it gets, if it gets, you know, out of control, we, we clean up any accident she has with like a special spray and everything. But like, I should probably be mopping at least once a week. And I just don't because again, energy consuming, time consuming, blah, 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 blah. So I figured if I use this and use the wet pad on the bathroom floors and the laundry room floors, and then I can use the then less damp wet pad to wipe up the kitchen wood floor, then everything will be okay. So I'm gonna sweep and I'm gonna wet, and do, the, do the wet one, the dry one, then the wet one, and we'll see how it goes. Put your buttons back. <laughs> 
you go. Look, Gracie. Mommy, play. Mommy, play. Do you want to play? Do you want to play? Oh, yes. Or do you just want to eat? What you do? Oh, what are you doing? Go get a toy. You put them in my bedroom. Go get a toy. Someone just had a bath. Come on, come on, get that toy. Oh, now you're gonna eat. We missed the best part of the zoomies. Hey, come on. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, go, go. Come on! Oh my goodness. Can I have it? Get it. Get my hat. All right. I have done as many chores as I'm going to do today, with the exception of putting away the laundry that I did earlier. My husband and I will end up doing that later this evening after the hockey game. I'm dressed for the hockey game. I'm showered. The dog has been showered. So, and now I'm going to get ready to eat dinner. But before I do that, I need to do my weekly derma flash. And this is an electronic, um, a micro, what's it called? Microblading tool. That's what it's called. Microblading. So while I was in the shower, I had to use, let me show you the little bottle here. I had to use their little pre-flash cleansing wash. And what this does is it actually removes the oils from your skin. So the, everything is dry. Everything is dried out because this is going to go through and it's a, there's a blade in here. And then what happens is you hear that? is it gets like those little sonic pulses and you get to do the micro, the microblading. Um, can you use a regular non-electronic microblading tool? You can, um, but I got this for Christmas from my mother-in-law and I love it. I've been doing it every single week. And here's a little, little tip for you. Um, you're supposed to replace the blade every single time you use it. I use the blade twice. It literally doubles the life of the blade. And if you just clean it off after you've done it the first time, it's fine. It works. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I can't really, I don't have it this set up to be able to film myself doing this, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to slather myself in my hydrators for after the fact, and then I'm going to go make dinner. Okay. Not to be gross, but look at what this is getting off of my face. Do you see that? Do you see what this is getting off of my face. And I do this every single week, y'all. It's crazy. There we go, all done. Slathered in my favorite Midnight Recovery Concentrate from Kiehl's. I put like three days worth on there and then let that, you know, massage that around for a little bit and it, my skin soaks it right up because you removed all the dead skin cells on top. So I got that and then I slathered on my current favorite moisturizer. Actually, let me show you. My current favorite moisturizer is actually this one, the Skin Renewing Night Cream from CeraVe. I've been using it every night and I have been loving it. Budget friendly, $20 for the tub and works really, really well for normal to dry skin. But also for those of us that were acne prone or previously acne prone, it hasn't broken me out at all. My camera battery died, so we are using the iPhone. This is my dinner. This is leftovers from Easter dinner yesterday. We went over to my small group leader's house and the whole group got together. And we had ham and green beans and mashed potatoes and all the fixins and Hawaiian rolls. So this is some of the leftover ham, which they got from Costco, by the way. And it was so good, it is so good, still is so good. And so I took two of the Hawaiian rolls and put a whole bunch of ham on them, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of my favorite organic Dijon mustard. And I used the um, Boar's Head 
caramelized onion jack cheese and made little ham ham sandwich sliders and then um can we talk about this look at this y'all taylor farms mini kits i went to walmart for a couple of things and i saw this and i had to try it so i'm gonna eat this entire bag because that's what it's meant for this is brilliant whoever came up with this freaking brilliant a single serve salad kit heck yes so i'm trying the pizza ranch we've got red and see red and savoy cabbage green leaf lettuce broccoli carrots cheese garlic crouton crumbles green onion parmesan cheese with creamy pizza ranch dressing don't mind if i do let's give it a try hey it's tuesday 1 23 p.m on tuesday yesterday that day that i filmed 14,750 steps. 40, actually. 740 steps. Last night, after all was said and done, I went upstairs and watched part of a hockey game with my husband. And as I was dozing on the couch, literally falling asleep, thinking, I was under the impression that after we were watching BattleBots, which we've been loving, by the way, that's available on HBO Max. Um, such a, such a fun fighting show because it's robot fighting. Um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, me dozing, my husband looks at me and goes, why don't you go downstairs and get ready for bed? And I thought, you know, it had to be 10 o'clock, 10.30. It was 9.30 p.m., it was an hour earlier than I thought it was. I went downstairs, got ready for bed, and was in bed by 9.55 last night. Not asleep. I didn't fall asleep until around 10.30. But I was in bed, snuggled under my covers at 9.55. That's how exhausted I was. And today, I have spent most of my day seated. Because your girl spent too many spoons yesterday. Um, and that's natural. That's the ebb and flow of things, right? I actually just finished having lunch, which was the same slider sandwich that I had for dinner last night and some cottage cheese. And then I found a leftover, um, blondie that I made like two weeks ago or something in the fridge. And I was like, oh, my husband's clearly not going to finish this. Let me finish this dessert. So it's gone. So I had that as my little sweet treat. And I have, um, 2,451 steps as of whatever time it is, 124 now. So I'm finally feeling, I went and had myself a cup of coffee. So it's my third cup of coffee. And I'm hoping that my body will allow me to carry it through an episode of Grey's Anatomy on the elliptical machine. <laughs> it's such, it's such an interesting thing because yesterday my energy was endless. I just went and went and went and went until I sat down and said, whew, I'm done for the day. And then my body went, okay, good, we're done for the day. And then today, the get up and go just ain't there. And it's hard because I want to, like, in a perfect world, I'm knocking out high levels of steps and activity and energy expenditure every day. And so where is that line? What's Is there a magic number? That are like, okay, 14,740 was too much, but 12,000 is not too much. Like, where is that line? I don't know, but it's just such an interesting thing. I had every intention of making this an exciting two-day vlog, but I guess this actually is a great learning experience because you get to see kind of what both sides looks like, right? Yesterday was wildly productive. My house is clean. Everything feels great. I felt awesome about how I spent my time yesterday. Today, I spent the day at my computer doing the businessy side of things, editing and uploading a video, all of those things. And I feel behind, even though I shouldn't. It's just a completely different type of productivity. And I still haven't figured out how to marry the feeling of yes, this is productive, to both the active, the physically active, and the mentally active, but physically inactive, if that makes sense. So anyway, that's where I'm at for now. I'm going to go downstairs and see if I can get an elliptical workout. <laughs>